Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. A couple weeks ago we made a wedding collage with images from this wedding magazine and in that video I was only able to make one collage but I had so many other ideas so I thought it'd be fun today if we revisited some of those ideas and I have every image that I pulled out of the magazine last time right here. I have all my ideas so I'm hoping we can complete a couple of them today and get this album started because I did end up getting an album and so we can start filling it with our wedding collages and start to see that come together. So lots to do today. Without further ado, let's get started. If you missed the first video in this series, I recommend you go watch it so you can see the images that I pulled out and the other ideas that I have. But today I wanted to start with this lady who's running because I've been dying to know if we can replace her legs with these giraffe legs and this hippo head could replace her head. I am so excited to see if this is gonna work. While I love this hippo head, and I even took the time to cut out the woman's earring to put on the hippo, when I put this all together and took a step back, I didn't quite love what it was looking like, and it wasn't exactly what I wanted to make. So I took some time to think about sort of what I could change to make it a little bit more of what I was looking for. So I think what I want to do is go full into the giraffe thing and give her all four of these giraffe legs. Let me see how that looks. And then give her a giraffe head. So I have this one, which is large. And then I did find this one, but it's kind of small. So I don't know, might, neither of these might work. I'm not sure. But what I liked about this one is since the giraffe is eating a leaf, I thought maybe we could put a wedding bouquet in the corner of the page and it's like the giraffe is eating part of the bouquet. Might be funny if we can get it all to work. So I'm gonna try now to see if I can get this to come together. I'm like all over the place now at this point. I'm really not sure what we're gonna do, but let's at least try this and see what it looks like. Okay, I think I got the giraffe to, <laughs> to work. I <laughs> I was a little bit worried about the head being so large, but that's what makes it so incredibly funny is how freaking large the head is. So, <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny. So I think we should still try to add some of this bouquet in the corner of the page. I also need to find a piece of paper to get this on. And wait, maybe we should put it on a background because it's a white dress. Maybe we shouldn't put it on white paper because of the white dress thing. Um, what background then? Maybe the desert? Oh boy, I don't know. I didn't think this through. I looked everywhere for a background, but everything was just too busy and I couldn't find something that worked. 
And I also had forgotten something that I wanted to keep in mind. So the album that I got is 12 inches by 12 inches, and I wanna make sure that every collage I make that's gonna go in here actually fits in here. So I wanna make sure that I keep our giraffe lady under 12 inches. And right now she's about at, mm, I'd say almost 11 inches. So there's really not that much room for a background. So I'm thinking also, because I thought they were all too busy, that we should just go with a plain background and have just her be the star of the show. But because she's wearing a wedding dress that's white, I thought that maybe just a white piece of paper is a little bit boring and the dress gets lost. So I do also have this craft paper color. So I wanted to see what this looked like because maybe this will work. And I think the brown might complement the giraffe pretty well. So I'm gonna fix the things I got messed up with the legs and see if we like this background because this is eight and a half by 11 and will fit perfectly in the 12 by 12 album. It is a little limiting on my collages to make sure they have to fit in that album, but it's really important to me because I just really want everything to fit in that album. If, you know, if I'm gonna do all of these wedding collages, I want them to fit in the album. So I'm gonna make that rule and try to stick to it for myself. So let's see if we can get this to work on this paper. I think we're gonna be able to make this work. The one last thing I wanted to do, I know I talked about adding flowers in the corner, but I think it's too busy. And because we have to have a small piece of paper, I think we better not do that. But what I did find on some of these pages are these little bouquets of flowers. So there's one here, that one's pretty cute and delicate. So there's a couple of these that I could cut out and see if they fit in the giraffe's mouth to cover up those leaves to make it a little bit more wedding relevant. So I'm gonna see which of these I wanna pull out and see if I can get them in the giraffe's mouth and hopefully that will sort of round out this collage nicely. So I know this is a little different than what I set out to make today, but I think we pulled it together. I really like how it turned out and let's try to make one more collage. All right, this was probably the weirdest and definitely most challenging idea I had for my last video. And I wanted to take two of these vans and replace them to give this lady two van shoes. And I think it's gonna be so hard but if I can make this work, I think it will be very cool and I just wanna give it a go. I don't know, we're just gonna start cutting stuff out and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, we will change our mind and do something else, but I just gotta know if we can make this work. Because I don't have two solid cars, I'm gonna try to merge two of these by moving the door back to its normal spot on this one, but then taking the butt of this car and putting it at the end of this one. And hopefully if we merge these two images, we can get two sort of normal cars. If not, I'll just use this one, but I don't like that there's the two people in it. I think that's distracting. So I'm gonna try to merge these two to create one full van. <laughs> All right, not perfect, but pretty good. It will definitely work. Now we gotta figure out <laughs> what the heck we're gonna do with this. So I like the idea of the foot coming down into the car. Oh man, I really have no idea what we're gonna do. Oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? What is this mess? 
Oh my goodness. I am in complete shock that I was able to remotely make this work. And I it's good the way it is, but I think what would make this even better is if we cut around the windshield and cut down into this window. And so I think that will make it look like the foot's really slipping into the car. So the windshield will come up over sort of like a loafer top. And I think if we do that, more of the foot will be able to come in and it will really look like the foot's being slipped into the car. So I'm gonna make that one modification and hopefully that makes it look a little bit more realistic. I always feel so weird because this isn't realistic at all. She's putting shoes on her feet, but let's see what this looks like. We gotta keep the side mirrors though, that's very crucial. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, this is absolutely perfect. Also, I just realized this. I do not know why I didn't notice this before. This ad says, look your best on your special day. And we're definitely gonna keep that text. I think we'll probably crop off the bottom of it, but wow, it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. And I didn't notice it until right now. <laughs> it's so funny. I am shocked this works even a little bit remotely. It's obviously not perfect, but it's really, it kind of reads well. I think the only weird part is whatever the foot is doing here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I could do to fix that. It's a little bit awkward. At least this part over here is being covered up by her hand. So that part's a little bit weird, but I think that overall this is working. I, I'm shocked that this even sort of works. It's so funny. I absolutely love it. I'm super happy with how these pieces came together. There were a little bit of tough times, but I think we managed it all right. There's still a couple of finishing touches I have to do and then glue everything together. And then we'll come back and put the collage we made last time in the album and put these two in the album. And I'm excited to see it all start to come together. Let's talk about this album. So this is a square album that's 12 inches and I got one with black pages because I thought that would be a nice backdrop for any collage. And I specifically got one without any plastic covering or any plastic sleeve, mostly because anything reflective is very hard to film. So I got that sort of for my ease of filming. 
This album came with these corner tabs, which I think are fine, but I didn't think they were fancy enough for a wedding album. So I got these gold tabs, which I think are much more appropriate for our very fancy wedding album. So let's get the first collage in here and I'm so excited. Now I'm the type of person that doesn't like to write on the first page of a notebook or draw on the first page of a sketchbook, but I think that it just makes sense for us to put these in here in the correct order I've made them and I'm just gonna have to deal with something being on the first page and I think that that's okay. So I've actually never used these before and I've never done anything like this in an album. I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do if you're supposed to put them on the picture first and then stick them to the album or I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do, but this is how I'm gonna do it, is stick them on first and then we'll try our best to center it using our eyeballs and hope for the best. Wow, that is perfect. Oh my goodness, it's incredible. These little gold corner tabs are absolutely perfect. They look so good and they look so fancy for such a funny picture and an album, but I absolutely love it. Now I'm still trying to figure out whether or not I wanna put collages on the back of the paper too, or just keep them to the fronts. I'm leaning towards front just because this is a honkin' album. I don't think I'm ever gonna make this many wedding collages. So I think we should probably just stick one per page. And that way, if someone's flipping through this album, they just can focus on one thing and then move on to the next one. I think it will just keep the focus a little bit better. So we'll add the giraffe lady next. And I'll link the album and these corner tabs in the description if this is something you wanna look into, if you wanna get exactly what I got. So let's get this giraffe in here. Oh my God, it looks so good. I love it so much. I'm glad I remembered that this needed to fit on a 12 inch album because any bigger in this picture would definitely not have fit. So very happy I remembered that. The first three pages of our wedding album are complete. And I'm so happy, I'm so thrilled with how they turned out and they look great with these gold corner tabs in this album. I'm so excited to fill the rest of the album with art. This is really neat, I'm so happy with this. And I do think there's some really nice opportunities to do something fun with the cover. I still need to figure out what we're gonna do with that, but. I think maybe we can think of a title for the album. I know I've been calling it the Wacky Wedding Photo Album, and maybe that's what we call it, but maybe if we come up with a cool title, we can put that on the cover. But man, I'm so happy with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are excited with how the album's coming together. I am super stoked about it. So I'll see you next Thursday for another collage video. Bye.